Hi, welcome. Uh, here we are going to understand uh, what is the exact definition for the fixed duration. So normally in Microsoft uh, project application, we used to come into, uh, we used to uh, you know, uh, look at uh, these terms, fixed duration and uh, fixed uh, work and fixed unit. So these are the confusing part for few people. So let us try to understand what is meant by uh, the fixed duration with a small set of example. So here, let's understand the fixed duration. So we have few steps which you are we are going to follow step by step to understand the meaning of this fixed duration. Okay. So for that, we are first going to create a task, paint the wall. Paint the wall. By default, the Microsoft project application considers any task as a fixed unit. You can change it manually, but by default, it comes as a fixed unit. So let us try to create this step one in the Microsoft project application. So I have uh, this uh, project application. So I'm going to open it. So let's uh, let's create the task, paint the wall. And by default, the, the task mode, it is set as a manual. Well, let's see you know uh, let's discuss on those things later so now what is the second step the second step is actually to set a duration of five days for this particular task so what is my expectation is that I want to paint the wall in five days that is my expectation so within five days I don't care how many hours a person is going to take so by default, this uh, project expects that each person works for eight hours per day. That is how it, it is designed. So uh, I, by default, you know, we know that unit of work by each person is eight hours per day. So in here you can see eight hours per day. So one person works eight hours per day. That means hundred percentage utilization. Okay, so if two persons works, they work for 16 hours per day. So I, so the, 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 this particular task, I don't care how many hours a person is going to work. But I am more concerned that uh, this task is completed in five days. Okay, so that is my expectation. So uh, the, let's say you know what is the start date and finish date. I don't want to calculate the any of the other fields. So I want uh, the this Microsoft uh, project application to calculate everything by itself. So I'm going to set the the task mode from manual to auto schedule. So once I set it, so it automatically calculates the finish date. The start date is today's date. So I'm going to let's say I'm going to change this uh, start date to next Monday. So it, it calculates the finish date as number 18. That is a five days. Okay, now I'm going to add one particular candidate who is 100% available. That means he works eight hours per day. So let me add this particular step and then what I'm going to do that I'm going to say that this candidate is going to be working in this particular task. So let's see what happens and before that here I'm saying that the work by default it's zero hours for this particular task so let's view that option as well so insert the new column insert the column which is already there I'm just selecting that column work so it shows zero hours okay so if I assign this particular candidate to this particular task I expect this expect that the work is 40 hours because he works 8 hours per day and the duration is 5 days so he will wait 40 hours so let's add this candidate so in the other view go to the resource sheet and then add this name so by default the rest of the fields are populated so he's 100 percentage available that means he works 8 hours per day so now I'm going back to the uh, the task 
and then I'm going to assign this particular candidate to this task so for do that to do that just select this task and then go to details section task form so here under the task form view this is the task form view and I'm going to assign this candidate to this particular task as you as as I told you earlier the default task is fixed unit so please note that I am I'm trying to explain what is fixed duration here. So by default, let's see what happens if it is a fixed unit. So I'm just selecting this candidate to this task. And either I can hit OK or I can just highlight this particular task once again. And if you see that, it will automatically change the hours, the working hours to 40 hours. Because this guy is going to work for 5 days. Each day he is going to work for 8 hours. So 40 hours of work will be available for this particular task so now we understood how this microsoft project assigns a task now let's come to the understanding of the fixed duration okay here you can see that remain the duration remains five days work is calculated so the formula for the work is duration into unit of work so the work is calculated the duration of the work into the unit of work by each resources so he, here is we have only one resource works by 8 hours so 8 into 5 is equal to 40 so that's how it works so now we will see what is meant by uh, what is meant by fixed duration if I set a task to fixed duration and if I change the work what happens if I change the duration what happens if I change the unit of work what happens so first what we will do is we will try to change the unit of work from 8 hours to 10 hours per day that is this guy is going to work 10 hours per day if the task is a fixed duration which one will impact whether the work will impact or duration will impact in a fixed duration so let's see that example so for that I'm just going to do press control Z and I'm going to okay uh, go back to the, the previous step I'm not assigning the resources now I just went back I just went back to the step 2 that just the resources added and uh, the step 4 has been cancelled so I'm not assigned any resources yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this particular task as a fixed duration okay so the, when the, when the, when the duration is fixed what happens that is my expectation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the unit of unit of work to 10 hours okay see when I change that unit of work it automatically changes the duration which I don't want in the initial stage so let me change the duration to 5 days that is my expectation so I want to know if I assign a resource as at if a fixed duration task in a fixed duration task with 10 hours with a 5 days duration what will happen if I assign a resource you can easily understand that fixed duration means duration cannot change so naturally the work will be multiplied with duration into unit of work unit of work is 10 so 10 into 5 I expect 50 hours so if I select it expecting 50 hours I got the 50 hours so now we understood that in the fixed duration task if I change the unit of work since the duration is constant the work gets impacted okay so now we will try to change the duration of the work in a fixed duration task and see what happens whether the work get impacted or unit of work get impacted so now what we will do is we will undo the changes so I have done I have just press control Z I hope that uh, it has reverted to the previous state so I just want to cross check going to schedule and just 
need to reduce it I want to get back to the same status so here if you see that the task is fits a duration and let me change that to five days once again what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this candidate which is eight which is who is who is going to work only eight hours now so I'm going to set it I am expecting this uh, to be 40 hours okay now here here is the task I'm going to change the duration in a fixed duration task so it is logically you know uh, I cannot change it but I'm manually changing it okay so I'm expecting that this five days I want to complete in uh, let's say 10 days I'm giving a good number of days I'm giving extra five days I'm saying can you finish this work so this guy is already working for eight hours and he says that I'm going to work for I'm just going to work 40 hours for you I'm going to give my 40 hours and if I say that in a fixed duration task I'm going to increase the days and this guy is going to still work for eight hours and I'm expecting that the work will be converted or changed to 80 hours so this is my expectation let's see what happens but the duration is 10 hours it's a manual change I'm doing so I'm expecting the work has to be changed to 40 to 80 hours see so now you understand what will happen if you change the duration in a fixed duration task here the work gets impacted okay now let's undo the changes once again okay so here in this particular task the same candidate is assigned in a fixed duration so what will happen if I change the the work that is what the final step if I change the work from 40 hours to 20 hours my question is whether the duration will impact or the unit of work will impact so answer is very simple since the duration is fixed the application cannot change the duration to five days to two and a half days so by itself it has to reduce the amount of work this candidate is going to do for a day so that is if I change the 40 hours to 20 hours per day this guy even though he is available to work for eight hours application expect just four hours of work per day so before doing the changes let's see what is the exact current status by just clicking the resource usage you'll see that this guy is working for eight hours per day and in the fixed duration task if I'm going to change the work to 20 hours this application Microsoft project intelligently calculates and finds that this guy need to work only for four days four hours in a day without impacting the duration so let's see what happens I've been just highlighting this task once again and I see in in this view you just don't see any difference when I change the 20 hours it still remains a five days it still remains the same day and still remains 100 units by showing that he is available 100, 100 units that means he is ready to work for 8 hours for a day but he works only for 20 hours so this is the exact concept of fixed duration so when you change the work duration doesn't impact unit of work impacts so if you want to see how the unit of work for this candidate impacted just go to the resource usage sheet and you will see that the hours are showing as four hours per day even though he is available for eight hours application intelligence will calculate only four hours it requires only four hours so by this you can understand that this guy is underutilized as well okay so hope you understand uh, the concept of uh, using fixed duration in a task so what is the impact if you change the work what is the impact if you change the duration what is the impact when you change the unit of work so I hope uh, this uh, this video helps you 
better and uh, to manage your project well thank you for watching